Hello viewers, it's been a while since I've posted. This is just going to be a quick um, whack together of a replication of something Crop 227 has been up to. We've got the battery, we're using a UPS as an inverter. I've taken the, big, uh, the little batteries out of it and just hacked into the side there and got leads out to the batteries. Works quite good. Right, uh, we're going through this uh, light bulb here. That is a current limiter. And we've got the bridge rectifier down here. From that, we go to the primary of a microwave oven transformer. From one side of that, we go to this um, electrolyte cell, which we will be firing up a spark. In. I'll just show you where we're at now. Turn it on. Here's the beeps. The UPS likes to make some noise. We've got a copper electrode in there at the moment. Let's use this big lens for a close-up. That's what we've got to begin with. That's what's going on in that bottle. We've got an open circuit. Well, it's not really an open circuit. We're running through on the uh, output of the MOT through the fluoro into the cap. It's still one piece of the circuit missing. Let's try a bigger cap. And that's charging off the secondary side. I've put a rectifier on there now. You can see what sort of potential we're storing. But it's only when we discharge through the primary spark cell that it will go up to the secondary storage capacity. And in this way it feeds back on itself. I thought I'd use a steam gap on this. Put two TIG rods either side. One cerium loaded, one thorium loaded. And we're going to put steam in through that port there.
treat for you. What we've got here is a, a tunnel hole. This has been donated to the worthy cause of a rocket boat. What we have here is the basic ingredients of a lot of fun on water. So here we go.